Nitrocell e-commerce presents The Menu Builder. By default, Nitrocell Web Store menus utilize the navigation structure defined in the Point of Sale system, or PAM's alternative web navigation. In other words, the relevant departments and categories found in your POS simply display online. Now, the Menu Builder provides greater flexibility and allows you to rearrange, add, and remove elements from your Web Store navigation. In addition, the links found near the top and bottom of each page, the header and the footer, can also be customized through Menu Builder. Lastly, you can create new menus for nesting into other menus or any other suitable application on your web store. In this demonstration, we'll first show you the default dynamic navigation. We'll then replace it with a variety of other customized menus. We'll conclude by adding various elements to the header and footer menus. Let's start by looking at where departments and categories come from. Your web store's departments and categories are always derived from the POS navigation structure or alternative web navigation you define in PAM. Here we can see the departments and categories from the web nav in PAM. And here we can see them represented the same on the web store. We achieve this by using the legacy setting called dynamic navigation. This is where the web store simply displays the relevant departments and categories in alphabetical order. We'll now navigate to the menu builder. It's located in the Web Store Manager under Design and Content. From there, we're presented with four tabs, Menu Manager, Menu Builder, Menu Options, and Menu Preview. Starting with the Menu Manager tab, we can manage or edit an existing menu, or create a new menu. We'll choose to manage the store navigation. Selecting that option automatically moves us to the second tab, Menu Builder. Quickly explained, the panel on the left represents everything you can add to your menu or link to. The panel on the right is the menu, displayed in the order it will appear on the web store. The various elements you can add to your menu are grouped by department, category, subcategory, content, brands and themes, blog content, and miscellaneous. Please note that if these page types don't exist on your web store yet, the groups will not be listed. By opening a group, Selecting Menu Content from the group and clicking the Add Selected button, Menu Content is added to your menu structure on the right. You can then arrange the items into the order and structure you'd like. Please note there are options in some groups controlling the parameters of what you're adding. For example, in Departments, you can add just the department, or Departments and its categories, or Departments, its categories, and its subcategories if you have them. A department alone qualifies as a static element, whereas if the element generates more elements, like categories, it's called a dynamic element. This will be important as we go on. As we saw a moment ago on the web store, this one element, dynamic navigation, is what's populating our entire store menu. To begin building our custom menus, we'll start by deleting the default dynamic navigation. If we decide later that we want to use the dynamic menu again, it's available here, under miscellaneous. The first demonstration will outline how to create the same menu, but change the order in which the departments are displayed. The second will demonstrate how to combine elements together under a text title. The third will show how to add categories to more than one department. And finally, we'll experiment with adding the other elements of the menu builder. For our first demonstration, I'll select to add all of our departments, after ensuring I'm adding the dynamic option rather than the static departments alone. You can see they're now listing in alphabetical order on the right. Now I'll take the elements, and by simply clicking, holding, dragging, and dropping, I'm able to rearrange them in the order I'd like. Saving again and refreshing the page, I can see the menu is now in the order I created in Menu Builder. Please note, because we've removed the dynamic navigation, if you add more departments and categories to your web store via the POS or PAM, you must return to Menu Builder and add them to your menu. Our next demonstration introduces the new version of department grouping. Formerly, a method existed to combine departments together by changing their IDs and assigning a department group name. The new menu builder is much easier. In this example, I'll assume I'd like to group beverages and spirits under an alcohol tab. I'll start by adding a text title and labeling it alcohol. Next, I'll drag and drop beverages and spirits under alcohol and positioning them slightly to the right. This ensures that these elements will appear within the element above it. This is called nesting, 
as the lower elements are nested within the upper. This is also called a parent-child relationship. Please note that you cannot nest elements under dynamic elements. I'll save and refresh to see our newly grouped departments. In the next demonstration, we'll assume we want the liquor category in both the beverages and spirits departments. To accomplish this, we can leave spirits intact because liquor lives there natively. But we'll need to delete the dynamic beverages department and reconstruct it of static elements because we cannot nest elements under dynamic elements. We'll add the static department beverage and nest it under the alcohol text title, then add beer wine, and the liquor static categories, and nest them under beverages. Save and refresh, and we can see it rendering exactly as expected, based on our menu builder configuration. Let's stop for a moment to examine some of the subtle features of menu builder. The little gear, or cog icon, allows you to configure your elements. For example, if you want to change the name of a department, you can simply enter a new name under Label. You could also add a sublabel if necessary. The class field is reserved for design targeting and should be left blank unless by a qualified web designer. Small arrows will appear to indicate if there are nested elements within it. By selecting the arrow, it shows and hides those elements. To delete an element, simply select the X to the right. Please note, we highly recommend using the Menu Backup feature under the Menu Manager tab before you begin making edits to your menu. In our final demonstration, we'll sample a little bit of everything in our header and footer menus to show the versatility of Menu Builder. The remaining options include External Link, Product, Blog Landing Page, Web Store Account Page, Gift Registries, and HTML Content. I'll add each of these to either the header or footer menu. Starting with the header, External link is used to link to a specific URL. This can be used to link inside or outside your web store. I'll point to the Promotions page. Product is the quickest way to point to a specific item. By adding valid product names, the utility will search and present us with options to add. Blog landing page provides a page to present all of our blog content. Now in the footer menu, Account is the same as the account page found when following the link in the header. Registries is the home of gift registries. And finally, HTML content, advanced, should only be added by a qualified web designer. In summary, Menu Builder is a powerful interface, enabling you to provide your customers with an easy and enjoyable shopping experience. This concludes the Menu Builder tutorial. Thank you for watching. Nitrocell e-commerce, helping you succeed online.